So for this master that riff we're going to be looking at Afterlife by Venge Sevenfold. Before we get started, this is a drop D tune, so I've got my E string drop, uh, drop down to D here. Okay, and remember, so the quickest way you can do that, if you want, you can play the open D string and E string and tune down so they're not too far apart. Or you could play a little 12th fret harmonic here, and that should uh, sound exactly the same as that open D string. So what we'll do is we'll look at the whole harmony guitar intro uh, between the two guitars uh, before we get on to the main riff itself. Now that the harmony guitar intro is about eight bars long, so if we split it into two halves, a four bar on each half, our first uh, four bars kicks off with this little phrase. Now what I'm doing here, if I just look at the notes, I'm going to be playing eighth fret of the B string, my first finger then 10th fret the B string and um, my third finger then I play 12th fret the E string and my third finger but what I do is I slide into these notes it's a very a, a typical Avenged 7 fold kind of phrasing thing to do to kind of slide into these type of notes so what I'm going to do is take my first finger and slide from above and they don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to start all the way up here like that, it's just sliding into the note, that's the way to think about it so I do this then I play 10 then I'm going to slide into that 12th fret and E string there and I put a bit of vibrato in that. The next little phrase sounds like this. So what I'm going to do here is I'll slide into 10th fret and the B string. Then I play 8, then 10. Then I play, so that's kind of the end of the first bar, but then what I do is I play 8, then 10 again. And then this time I slide up to 13th fret on the E string with the third finger. So if you can think of it as um, you're always playing and then sliding up to a note, but this little join between the first bit of the 12th fret and this bit of the 12th fret is you're just going to go, just fill that space. So when you put those two bits together, it sounds like this. Okay. Then what we do is we slide into 10th fret again, then I play 8, 10, and this time I'm sliding up to the 15th fret on the E string. Then what I do is I go to the first uh, fingers at the 13th fret of the E string, and I do a bend, whole step bend with the third fret, the 15, uh, third finger at the 15th fret there, up and down. And then once I've done that, I go up two frets and bend a half step from the 17th fret up. Okay, so that kind of goes. Okay, so that's our first four bars. If I play that slowly, this is what it sounds like. Plenty of vibrato at the end of that bend there at the 17th fret. So the next bar sounds like this. Okay, so what I've got here is I'm playing a little uh, alternate picked melodic idea and I'm going to play 15th fret the E string with the middle finger. And my fourth finger goes to 17th fret that E string. Then I go back to 15th fret, middle finger. First finger goes to 13th fret that E string. The first finger there. And then I play second finger, 15th fret the B string. So that kind of goes. Then I play another one of them. And then I finish the bar off with one of these. So you can stop it before you get to the B string. So if I play that bar again slowly, it sounds like this. Then what you do in the next bar is exactly the same. But what you have, if you think of the transition, the end of the first bar sounds like this. The start of the next bar sounds like this. So this is what gives it that nice little um, kind of change. So when you put the two bars together, it sounds like this. The next two bars would take a little phrase that was down here. So we're playing, you know, 15, 17, 13, and then 15 in the B. I just move it up, so I'm now playing 20 
on the E string with the middle finger, 22 with the fourth finger, 18 with the first finger, and then 20 in the B string with the middle finger. And it's exactly the same, so the, the, that bar 7 of that 8 bar intro sounds like this. Then in the next bar you do the same. But this is where you end it. Now, instead of going at the end there, I do basically a, a whole step bend from the 20th fret of the E string. Bending up to the 22nd fret there. So that second bar sounds like this. Okay, so when you put that together uh, with the first two bars of that four bar section, this is what it sounds like. Now the harmony guitar part of the intro what we're doing is playing uh, a diatonic third away. And what that means is within the key of D minor, or whatever, we're just playing uh, the kind of third rung behind in the kind of ladder of the scale. And what that means is if I'm playing 810, as we looked at on the B string for that, what I'm actually going to be playing here is uh, 5 and 6. So you substitute 8 and 10 for 5 and 6 in the B string. Now the slide note, instead of going playing that back in the E string, I'm going to keep it all in the, the B string here. So the first little phrase sounds like this. So it's the 13th fret in the B string I slide up to there. Then I slide up to the 15th fret. And notice it's the same rhythm for these bits here. Then I go up to the 17th fret. Now the bend notes here go... So here what I'm doing is I'm playing 15th fret on the first finger and then it's a half step bend on the 17th fret in the B string up and down and then the bend at the end I got one more fret to the 18th fret and bend up a whole step the vibrato at the end of that so that's the harmony for this bit Now if over this bit the harmony guitar part plays this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to be playing 12, 13, 12, 10 with the 3rd, 4th and 1st fingers. And then what I'm going to do is bar across the 10th fret to get that note, the lower note is on the 10th fret in the B string there. So this kind of goes like this. So that's your first bar. Then what happens in the next bar, instead of playing exactly the same, we change the lower note a little bit. So this time we go, I play 11th fret of the B string there. So the second bar sounds like this. So the two bars together sound like this. The next two bars, we take this little lick down here. Exactly the same fingering, same shape, and we move it up five frets. So my first finger is now at the 15th fret. So what we have is this. Then in the, then in the next bar we go. So we move it up to the 16th fret there from the 15th fret. So it's exactly the same as down here, just up five frets. And of course we have this little bend at the end. So the last bar goes. I'm doing a whole step bend here at the 17th fret of that E string. Okay, so that whole little sequence sounds like this. After that 8 bar intro, we get to the first uh, little hint at the main riff. So the next section after that bend, so we've ended up here with a kind of, you know, a uh, whole step bend at the 12th fret. So we have to get down here pretty quick. But the riff sounds like this. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to do a hammer and pull off from the 5th to 8th fret in the A string here. And I use my 1st and 4th finger there. 
So that's kind of a little 16th note triplet, so it's quite fast. So that's what you've got there, and then after that, my second finger plays sixth fret of the E string. So what you have, if you slow it down, is this. Which is a nice kind of evil sounding uh, kind of riff there. So picking wise, you can do various things here. What I do is I tend to do a down stroke and play that E string uh, with an up stroke. You could also play all the down strokes. Whatever kind of feels comfortable. The reason why I do with an upstroke there is when I come, once I've played two of these, I'm going to do three downstrokes, palm muted open D power chord. So I'm just kind of palm muting the, the D and A string there, and I just do three downstrokes. So you can think of almost of it, the riff being three little sections. First section is this, then you've got another one of them, and then you've got three downstrokes. Then you do it again. Okay, so when you put it together, together it sounds like this. Now that first uh, play through the riff, we have a rest after that. There's a little kind of bass fill there. So the the, the kind of two bars sound like this. You'd have your bass fill there. Now the riff over the verse is mainly the same, but there's actually two different guitar parts again. Uh, if we take our riff that we've just done, we play that exactly the same again, but we end it off now by playing... So I'm playing these kind of power chords at the third fret of... Uh, I'm banning right across the D, A and D strings here. And I go up two frets to the fifth fret, then one more to the sixth fret. I just play all that with my first finger. That's the kind of rhythm of it there. So the main riff now is this. Okay, so that's your kind of lower guitar part. Uh, there's another guitar part which is playing an octave above. Now what we're doing here is this riff here. I'm actually playing an octave above, so to play that octave above, I'm going to hammer from 7 to 10 on the G string with my first to third finger. So it's a bit of a stretch that, but you'll see why in a, a second. So that's the, an octave above this. And then instead of playing that sixth fret of the D string there, what I'm going to have to do here is this. My fourth finger plays 11th fret of the A string. So the, the riff, an octave above, sounds like this. 